Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and the All Blacks have announced their squad to travel down to South Africa uh, for the two tests against the Springboks. First of all at Ellis Park on the 31st of August before a week later they will go down to Cape Town where they'll probably have a bit more support than they will in Ellis Park and the Springboks actually eyeing probably back-to-back -back victories against this All Black side who have been a little bit inconsistent under Scott Robertson. Yes, they've only lost the one game um, out of the the five that they've played. Um, however, you know, wasn't particularly convincing against England. Obviously lost to Argentina. Um, were pretty good against Fiji and then were very dominant against Argentina in their last game. So um, they're definitely improving, definitely starting to click. The question is though, can they contend with a Springbok side? Probably playing with the most confidence they've ever played. And the big news for the All Blacks is that Captain Scott Barrett is in the squad and is set to face the Springboks at Ellis Park next weekend, where he will lead out the side um, at sort of uh, Fortress Ellis as the Springboks try and uh, defeat the All Blacks to try and make sure they win their first rugby championship in five years. Before we get to the squad, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, first of all, in terms of some injury news, um, Patrick Tupolato and Stephen Perifito will not um, travel with the All Blacks down to South Africa because of injuries, both calf injuries as well um, for, for them. Um, as a result, Josh Lord and Harry Plummer, um, who have been part of the squad as injury cover, um, they joined the squad to, to help with the Argentina test. They will remain with the squad and will travel down to South Africa. It is a 36-man training squad, quite a bigger squad than some of them we're used to sort of seeing traveling. Traditionally, we used to sort of see 30, 32-man squads coming down. This is a 36-man squad, so plenty of options uh, for uh, Scott Robertson. Now, in terms of if you see the Sundays over there, that's because of the time difference. It'll be Sunday the 1st of September, Sunday the 8th of September, if you are in New Zealand. Let's go through the squad, shall we? There are three hookers in Asafa Amur, Cody Taylor, and George Bell. You expect to see Cody Taylor um, start, as he, as he has done many times against the Stream Box. Uh, the props will be interesting. It is Ethan DeGroote, Tao Lomax, Fletcher Newell, Basilo Tosi, Offa Tonga Farsi, and Tamati Williams. Um, I expect Ethan DeGroote probably to start with Tao Lomax um, um, and then potentially Fletcher Newell, and, and then probably. I'll, I'll be interested to see if they might go to Marty Williams. You know, the young, the young Lou said, for example, very mobile around the park, might be better suited to, to play against South Africa. The scrums for South Africa haven't maybe as been dominant as they would like in the last few weeks. Um, the uncontested scrums kind of took that part away um, in, in the last test. The first test, they were very good um, against Australia. And it's very much a spring mock weapon. So there's something that the All Blacks need to neutralize. I think Degut's a very good scrummager. And I think uh, Lomax and Fletch and Newell can, can hold their own. So um, that will be a very interesting combination. Scott Barrett, I think, will return. Um, he's got Sly Sando, Josh Law, and Tupo Vai as other options. There's Scott Robertson. You'll probably look at seeing a, a Tupo Vai Scott Barrett combination there. Uh, loose forwards, Sam Kane. Lots of unfinished business for him when he takes on the box where the last time he played against them was the World Cup final. That red card, a very controversial moment in the final where some people saying that, you know, that's what lost New Zealand in the final. Some people are actually saying that moment kind of galvanized New Zealand and they started playing better and kind of lift the game after that. Uh, but he's definitely got a bit of unfinished business there. Ethan Black has had a very impressive last few games. Uh, Artie Sevilla will play of the year. has been deputizing for Scott Barrett. Uh, other big options, Luke Jacobs is a quality player, as is Dalton Papali'i. Um, so it's a pretty good loose forward uh, options over there. Halfbacks, well, TJ Perinara very much sort of uh, shut down a bit of his couple of his haters in the last test. Uh, plenty of experience there. We have seen Cordy's Ratsman coming off the bench the last few times. Don't expect to see him start. And uh, the fly half options in Bowden Barrett and Damian McKenzie. Um, I think both of them will probably start. But I think we'll see DMAC at 10. Probably see Bowden Barrett at 15. The midfield's going to be interesting. David Abili, Jordi Barrett, Rico on Antonio Brown and Billy Proctor. Personally, really enjoyed uh, Antonio Brown in that game against Argentina. Yes, they might have lost the game, but I'm a big fan of them. Um, and, and I think he's going to provide genuine competition for Rico Awadi. Um, I think if David Havili can get back to playing the rugby he was a few years ago, then I think their midfield gets quite stacked. You know, between Jordi Barrett, David Havili, Rico Awadi, Antonio Brown, before you even look at a Billy Proctor, for example, that's some really, really quality options. And then it's New Zealand. They've always got outside backs more than they really know what to do with, to be perfectly honest. And uh, the outside backs traveling are Caleb Clark, Will Jordan, Ruben Love, Harry Plummer, Sevi Reese, and Mark Talaire. Expect to probably see um, Mark Talaire, Will Jordan starting, very bad fullback. You could go Caleb Clark, um, uh, Mark Talaire, Caleb Clark, Sevi Reese, for example. You have Will Jordan at fullback, a position where he prefers to play. 
Um, but I do think that this All Black side has generally been more balanced when uh, when 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 Bowden Barrett has been at fifteen. Um, but plenty of options there at outside back, uh, as as kind of always when it comes to the All Blacks. It's a good squad. It's a very very good squad. I don't think you know quality is the issue at the moment with with the All Blacks. I think it's obviously a new squad. Um, and Scott Robinson, new sort of direction. They've obviously got a lot of players they need to that they they're trying to fill in the gaps. You know, Richie Moanga, who you know David Keynes has been criticised but not being able to sort of replicate the kind of form we saw Richie Moanga. But then we saw a second test against Argentina where he was absolutely superb. Um, the locks are also under a lot of pressure. Obviously, having lost with Roddy Vitalik, you know Sam Whitelock, you know you're losing almost three hundred tests of, of worth of experience. And uh, Scott Robertson needs to try and find a combination that can really sort of add the grunt that they're used to. Similarly with Lewis Ford, you've got to try and find that sort of balance. So there's definitely sort of positions and aspects on this all-black side which are still trying to, um, you know, come come good. But there's the talent on paper. Um, where are they going to beat the Springboks? Away. It's a big ask, isn't it? Uh, they've obviously got such a good record against South Africa, but have lost the last three tests in a row. Um, I think it is, well, at least the last two tests including that uh, very dominant victory um, over in Twickenham last year. So it's going to be a very interesting side, uh, uh, side that uh, that's what I was going to name. And I think it's going to be a very interesting clash, or clashes rather, uh, down here. What do you think are some of the the, the, the aspects where this all Black side can beat South Africa in? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. We've been putting out a predicted All Black side um, this weekend, as well as predicted South Africa side. Um, we're actually putting out a, a side that I think should be named um, for, for South Africa tomorrow. Um, so lots and lots of build up for next year and uh, next week. Um, and let me know what you think. What what sort of players would you like in either side? And what sort of clashes or, um, you know, um, duels are we looking forward to? You know, for example, your Dave McKenzie versus Sash Bamba Zulu, Or maybe against the Mario Leibach, for example. You know, your Ardis Sevier against a Jasper Visa or against an Alred Lowe. Lots to sort of talk about there in terms of the matchups that we're going to see next week but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon